Peanut harvest just a couple of weeks away and over at Chase Farms in Macon County, they're still celebrating the 2018 harvest. Courtney Giacobazzi takes you out to one of their peanut fields where Donald Chase hopes another good crop will soon come out of the ground. Farmer Donald Chase checks on the progress of his peanuts. Turn into, first they turn into this, and then this, and that, and then they turn into maybe a, these pegs are probably close to, closer to maturity. They've still got about a month to go, but it's worth the so wait. If you want good peanut butter, you need to have good flavored peanuts. Peanuts, right? which Chase produces plenty of. A million three hundred thousand pounds. That's fairly typical. Spanning across hundreds of acres, that kind of volume won him a top peanut prize. In, in 2018, we had the highest yield per acre in the state. Chase humbly says they just got lucky, but hopes the weather will bring them more luck this year. Now, I know most of us may be ready for this extreme heat to be said and done, but these peanut crops, they love the sunny and hot weather, but they do need a little more rain. Right now, we're we're kind of OK, but we're going to probably need to irrigate toward the end of the week if, if we don't get any more rainfall. Something Chase says he's had to do a lot of. This year, we've had to irrigate more uh, and we've had a lot more heat. But come harvest time, he asks for something you'd never think a farmer would say. It would be great if we had no rain for a month. Right. It turns out dry weather makes perfect conditions to harvest what could be another top crop for Chase Farms. In Macon County, Courtney Jacobazzi, 13 WMAZ News. Over a million pounds of peanuts. Wow. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, peanuts brought in more than $500 million in revenue to the state in 2018.